thought we did great. The before this game, the past two games before this game, we uh, we started off really slow. First and 15 minutes, we started off really slow and, and uh, watching film, talking to training, working hard. Even though we didn't play on Wednesday, we had it was like our off day, but we didn't take any days off. We we worked super hard, like we were playing a game. And I kept telling them we have to start fast. We have to start fast. And uh, first five minutes, we were up 2-0. You know, finally we could take a breath. You know, um, give, we're gonna give credit to Soul Ross. You know, they they fought hard. They played really hard. You know, um, they're still trying to adjust to to being in the Lone Star Conference. You know, but um, I told them if we were able to keep the ball and just pass it around, our opportunities will come. And man, I think we had almost 30 shots in this game. Um, so that's that's looking like the old West Texas that I'm used to seeing, you know, dominating shots and keeping possession. So like that, so hopefully we keep on, uh, keep the momentum for uh, UTPB on Wednesday. Kind of keep building on that. You talked last week about wanting to see the team be more aggressive. You had 25 shots on goal, <laughs> or 14 shots on goal, right. four total shots. I mean, your message sunk in this week. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was quality shots, you know. It was just keeping the ball, build, uh, keeping possession, building your attack. Not forcing things. We, we struggle with that. We struggle with forcing things. We want to go 100 miles per hour every single time we have the ball. In this game, you can't do that, or you will burn out. If you get the ball and you go 100%, you will lose it, and now you're back defending. And that defending is one of the toughest things to do in this game. That, it's it's going to wear you out. So uh, in training this past week, I kept on at, uh, not asking him, but telling him, we need to keep the ball. We need to be patient. Just let things develop. Pass to the open player if you can. I know it might not be the, the flashiest or the super superhero ball that everyone wants to do, but it's going to help us in the long run. So, yeah, we were around the box, and we are taking shots left and right and trying to get um, our head on the ball in corners. And I think uh, our center back, AJ, actually took the ball out of the goal. Uh, legs had a free kick that was about 40 yards out, and it beat the goalkeeper, and AJ was there to head the ball. And instead of going, going forward, it went to the side. I'm like, oh, we could have scored another – go there it could have been easily a 5-6-0 game you know so um i think everyone was excited i hope everyone was excited about this game um it was a good momentum like i said i think we're, we're just finding our stride right now we're finding it and i think it's the great time it's about halfway through conference and if you look at all the stains right now we're only about like six points off first place so anything can happen in this conference and uh hopefully we can build on that on uh wednesday Yeah, it's a little bit easier for our defensive backs whenever uh, we're able to keep the ball and they're not running at us every every single time they um, they get the ball. So, uh, yeah, I think we did pretty well. There were some little mistakes here and there, but they were minor mistakes, not not uh, not like the past where we've given up goals and or they caused us some trouble. But, um, yeah, I thought they did great. Uh, they started our attack. They, started our, they kept possession for us that time. So if we continue to build and just be patient, especially with their defensive backs, and just be calm back there and not freak out because they have to be the most um, relaxed per people back there because if they're freaking out and everyone, they're just running around, you know, they're, they have to be our foundation for, uh, for the goal, to defend the goal, actually. So I thought they played well. Spacing was great. So we need to play a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, and I'm going to be just a little bit picky. But I'm a coach, so uh, I, that's that's going to be my job. So if we could just play faster and just uh, stay more composed, then I think we'll we'll do great for the, the rest of the season. You're back at home this week. Talk about a little bit about um, what, how you're going to bring this momentum over. Yeah, so uh, we uh, play uh, UTPB on Wednesday. So uh, they're a team that that lives off momentum. They live off winning tackles and uh, enjoying enjoying that. So if we're able to keep the ball and just move it around and eliminate the opportunities for them to to live off the momentum that they get sometimes, I think we'll just be fine. Um, we still have a little bit of a bad taste from last year. We went to Odessa last year and uh, we lost 5-1. And it, it really kind of like settled in like, oh, this is, this is not a really good feeling, you know? So I know I haven't forgotten. I know the girls that are returning haven't forgotten about that game. So hopefully we can come into this game ready to play ready for a very athletic, uh, energetic team. Um, even though the standings, they, in the standings, they're not at the top or in, or stuff like that, but it's gonna be a game where it's gonna be difficult. We can't take any game lightly, so we'll be ready to, to take on UTPB on Wednesday. Then you have UVU at Saturday, really them on Saturday, just what, what have you seen from UVU? 
uh, I mean, DBUs will always be DBU. You know, they'll always be one of the best in the country. Um, but at the same time, uh, they have dropped some couple points. When I mean that, they haven't lost, but they have tied a couple games. So uh, I, I don't know what's going to go on in this conference. You know, we can, we, we're going to have a game plan of uh, after Wednesday, we'll have a game plan of, of a way to uh, eliminate their uh, offensive opportunities. But at the same time, uh, we just got to keep possession. We just got to stay calm, play our game, and if we do, we'll have a we'll have a really good chance of coming out with two wins this week.